Okay, so samurai <clears throat> just unlocked that. Yeah. Um and I got set up before the expansion. Just to jump straight in there. One thirty gear. Yeah. Cause I was bored and had fuck all else to do. Um <clears throat> So the gear doesn't look the same but the weapon looks kinda cool when you watch. He just spins and then lights up. So just gonna sort 60 weapon out before I have a look at the rotations. Um 60 keys already except for the weapon, so mm. <clears throat> kind of cool the new run as well, um, the way they did it. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if I'll be well enough, I think. Yep. Um, exchange. Here, <clears throat> upgrade that to two seventy. Katana, exchange <laughs> Okay So, all 274 and I hit 60 Now Yeah, um, when I did the Samurai quest, I uh, ended up with this box. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm not really sure what it is. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's 115 gear. Is it any good or...? Hmm. Yeah. Not really. Um. So um, I didn't really look on any guides or anything um before Stormblood, I mean, I looked at um, I think one video or something of the different classes, but I didn't really look at them any in-depth kind of um, information or anything that was going at the time. So, well, basically, this is everything is completely new. So, I went through my skills before and had a look at them. <clears throat> 
Um, so I'll get a dummy and I want to try some of them out. Uh, also my keybinds and if anybody has looks at my keybinds and um, thinks they can make them a little bit better I wouldn't mind some help on that as well. So. I don't know why I'm not mounting all the way down here, but whatever. <clears throat> the dummies are really busy as well now. Yeah. So basically I set up um, uh, Q as my um, Jitsu For the three sends, um, I set up Fuga into shift E for Mangetsu and an R. So basically you just E, shift E and R for your two AOE rotations. I set up a Geha on shift R because it's not very often you use it anyway. So and then I, I used um, the first combo which is obviously the first one Akazi then into Jimbo and then into Keko and then I did the same but shift 2 instead for shift who in uh, Kasha and then I just did one four for Yubi really I should have them closer or do like a different for the poison buff but fuck it it sort of feels comfortable it was um F is me stone then I have obviously me Naga mouse which is like fun for me heels uh, th shift uh, so you've got um Actually, I set that up as a map one for two. Um, basically, for second wind and bloodbath. Um, so that's second wind bloodbath, and then shift for third eye, shift F one for third eye, and then invigorate on four, and then shift F four for make it sushi, which is like um, allows you to use three weapon skills in succession to get an instant gorge. Well, not instant, but sort of pretty fast. Yeah. And I've got an Invigorate as well. On 4, F4 as well, which is on my mouse. Yeah. That's all I have at 50 at the minute anyway, so I am. Um, so basically it's sort of like um, 1, into 2, uh, into 3. And then that gives you Jimbo, which is increases your damage. And then you get one into shift two, into three, which yeah, you get your haste buff, <clears throat> and then you get your one and your four for your slashing, uh, for your poison. Sorry, yeah, your slashing, uh, slashing resistance. I mean. I basically just rotate them three I think um, and then when you get these three gorges up you press Q and that's your um, your three attack which is your high potency 720 I believe it is um, you do obviously build them up again see a three and then you get one which goes to Hikabana which is your, uh, your poison, so Q to put your poison up then you've got one shift two just get the two sen then you get two sen and that's like an AOE well actually uh, don't I have two up there? no oops I say I'm pretty fucking clueless. I'm just going through the rotations. So that turns into Tent of Gorgon, which is um like a, a lion attack, I think. Yeah. Oh, and he's in a corner, yeah. So yeah, that's that. But that actually works with um if you look, um the way I looked at it was I had E into shift E for Vangetsu and then E into R for Oga, so that gives you two sends and it's the two correct sends well you didn't have any two sends but like you can instantly go into an AOE so like it's it's all AOE damage so basically like you've got um to show you it's like E into shift E which gives you your first 
and then E into R. Gives you your second, and then immediately you can go into Q, which is so that's all AOE damage. Well, frontal AOE damage, and you can just rinse and repeat them, like which will probably be really good for when you're on um like trash pulls and stuff. See, look at that. It's like it's pretty good AOE. Uh, I have F as a stone. And then, like I said before, I've got second wind and bloodbath on me Naga on F on one. Um, then I have invigorate and shift one as well is second uh, third eye. Sorry. What well, this? Seems quite cool from what I can see from it, because the way I look at it, I've got um, I have three is Gecko, which grants Getsu, um, Shift three, which is Shifu, which grants Car, and then four, which is Yuki, which grants um, Setsu. So basically, I can get them three off this off Miku Su Sushi by. A swishy, whatever which way you want to pronounce it. Basically, by just using um, uh, three, shift three, and four. So basically, um, I'll basically use it like this. So it's three, shift three, four, and then Q straight into it. That's sort of what an opening rotation is going to be like. Like I say, it's early doors, so like, I've only literally just let it now, but like, I really like Sam. Um, I mean, I think it's going to be a pain to maintain, obviously, your slashing and your Jimbo and your Shifu at the same time, especially if you're on bosses moving around and that, but supposedly we get some really good um, gap closes and stuff. Um, later on so I'll probably post a little bit more when I start doing more things with Sam but it was just a little video really just to show you what I'm doing if anybody thinks they can change any of my keybinds to make them a little bit better I would um, I'd like to hear about it well um, it's also I forgot you've also got to maintain the dot as well so you've got like a bleed so you have basically one, two, three. Increase your damage. Then you have your poison to watch. And your slashing resistance and then get the two of them on. It looks like you the best way to have it is by basically having your slashing on, having your increased damage on. And that's when you're gonna get your full um your full damage on um, on this which yeah 70 to 720 potency heal air uh, heal uh, damage sorry air um, also roll I wasn't really sure what to use so I just took like second wind obviously invigorate obviously bloodbath I took lace sweep as a stun but I mean you can take gold now which is um, pretty useful I would think no, I'm not really. Kind of like the look of True North as well, which stops the level direct. Well, the ability direction requirements. Because I forgot to mention, like, you have to go to behind and to the side and stuff as well. So, really, I want to use True North as well. Um, I'll just have to be able to come back for that. But anyway, yeah. That's just a little video, just to show some. <clears throat> okay, thanks. <clears throat>